So he was late for the bus, and then I'm taking him to dinner now. now. Exactly. The uh, bus didn't come into the hotel uh, and ask for me or anything. They just, I guess, I don't know, thought that I was going to be standing out there or something. I was waiting in the lobby. Anyways, this uh, fine gentleman here is taking me to Denaru and then uh, out to South Sea Islands. Which uh, city are you from? I'm from Suva. Suva, okay. The capital city of Fiji. We'll see. A beautiful day here. Yeah. It's now more of the uh, dry season, yeah? Yes. It's going into dry season. Right. Lucky for us, perfect day for a boat ride uh, in perfect, paradise. Perfect day for everything in paradise. Absolutely. Is there anything you would like to say to America about Fiji? Uh, I would like to invite more Americans. Come over and see. There you go. Come to paradise and feel it. What it really likes, living in paradise. People are so caring. The environment is so friendly, and you meet different races, different cultures. Christian, Hindu, Muslim. Yes, yes, different religion, different beliefs. Living in peace here. Living peacefully in this island of paradise. All right. Bula. Okay, so I'm here at the uh, Denaru port, got my ticket, now got to figure out uh, where my boat is. They owe me a uh, compensation for the taxi ride, it was 30 bucks Fijian, but that's only like $12. I'm not going to try too hard if they're like, it's your fault, but uh, there's a lot of different offices here, South Sea Cruises. Okay, looks like this is it. So, 20 minutes until the boat is loading up. Now, I explained to them that, uh... Bula, bula! The uh, bus didn't come into the hotel and try to get me and ask for a refund and they said, well, the uh, bus picks up at the Ramada, which is next to my hotel, and my hotel should have told me to wait there, so not worth spending any more time on. At least it was a nice taxi ride with a cool guy. So this is obviously the quite swanky area of Denaru. I have some time. Hola! before the uh, boat leaves, so let's uh, poke around a little bit. I'm actually uh, quite hungry. Let's see if they can maybe make something to go. Are there restaurants on yes. South Sea Island? There is, okay, thank you very much, thanks. Okay, I'll wait until I get there and not be rushed. I was gonna maybe get something to go, but uh, it's only a 30 minute boat ride. Looking forward to getting out into the uh, Pacific Ocean here. Perfect day, slight breeze, but uh, barely a cloud. 
So this is Vichy Levu, the largest and most populous island in uh, Fiji, like I think 75% of uh, the population of the island archipelago of Fiji lives here on Viti Levu, where they use the Fijian dollar. It is about two to one. So if it says 10 bucks, then in Fijian, in US dollars, that is like $4.50. The uh, taxi ride there was 30 bucks, so 12, 13 dollars for that. So prices are kind of all over the place. My hotel is quite expensive, $165. And that is like the budget hotel. I'm sure that uh, it is a lot more expensive here when I was looking on booking.com. There were places for six, 700 bucks a night. There was very little left because I booked it last minute as I always do because my plans are very, hola. My plans are very, uh, Spontaneous, authentic Fijian cuisine. That sounds good. Hopefully I can find something that claims to be authentic on South Sea Island. The hunger is starting to hit. So uh, accommodation definitely seems to be quite expensive. Food at the touristy restaurants is gonna be typical prices, but uh, I would say a little bit cheaper than like the United States or Australia. And I'm sure that if you go to like the market or restaurants in Nandi, then it will be quite affordable because overall things seem to be a bit cheaper than other countries. You know, $12 for that taxi ride was a pretty good deal. The same thing in Sydney was like double that. Wow, that is looking beautiful. When you think of tropical island paradise, this is really what you think of. The beach where I'm staying, as I showed in previous videos, is just okay, not uh, impressive at all. But uh, apparently where we're going now, we're gonna see some of the nicest beaches in Fiji. So looking forward to it. Curious to see what sort of a boat we're gonna be on. Maybe that, South Sea Cruise. So as I've mentioned in my previous videos, then it is a very short stop here in uh, Fiji for just three full days. I'm taking a flight tonight around midnight to Honolulu, Hawaii. So uh, obviously three days in Fiji is really a tease. The reason is for one thing, I'm just uh, making my way back to the United States. If I stop everywhere, I mean, New Zealand is right there. I would absolutely love to finally see New Zealand. But if I stop everywhere that I should stop, then I'm never gonna get back home. And so I'm going back uh, to the United States to visit uh, family and friends, and then to get ready for summer travels elsewhere. Now, if the flights had worked out better, then I would have stayed at least a couple more days here, but the uh, best flight option was the direct flight from Fiji to Honolulu. Ah, this is like the boat gas station. Cool. <laughs> but there are very limited flights going direct from here to Honolulu. Otherwise, you're talking, you know, fly through Asia or whatever, because there ain't much between here and Hawaii up in the uh, more northern Pacific Ocean. So the next flight after today was on the 17th of April, which is in six days. And so I wasn't uh, ready to commit to spending almost another week here when I'm uh, heading back home. So uh, I will definitely have to come back again another time and explore more. There is so much more to see. There are, of course, many, many islands here. I'm just seeing one, two. So, uh, maybe I'll get the chance to come back. So speaking of many islands, look at that. 
And that is not all of Fiji. Here we are. Nandi, that must be the port in Aru. So, Viti Levu Island is quite big. And then the Mamanuka and Yasawa Islands here. Tons of them, and there are lots more islands around. So it is a fairly large country for being in the South Pacific. Many of the South Pacific island nations are quite small. Not sure which one you need here. Yeah, uh, that's okay. You can keep that one. All righty. Thank you. All right, here we go. Boarding the boat. Pula, pula. Thank you. Okay. This is obviously going to be a touristy experience. Hopefully there are some beaches there that aren't totally overrun. We shall find out. Musicians, all right. Pull and run, pull up. Pull up. Pull up, everyone. Pull up. Pull up. <laughs> Come on, guys, where's that pull spirit? Let's try it one more time. Pull up. Pull up. As you can see, some of the staff are standing on the beach. What they will do is that they's gonna, they're gonna sing us the Fijian welcoming song. So after the song, they will start off the big bulla. So what I'm gonna need from you guys is you can reply back with the big bulla. Can you guys do that? Do what? Except Reply back with a big bulla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they say reply back, I gotcha, gotcha. Reply back with a big bulla. Can you guys do that? Gotcha, absolutely. All right. Remember, here on the island, when there is no bulla from us, there's no lunch from them, eh? Okay, okay. <laughs> Good to know. Back, follow me to your orientation place, okay, as well as lunch. Okay, maybe lunch is included. Excellent. 
they didn't tell me anything for this uh, tour. I'm hoping maybe I can get uh, snorkel stuff. I'm sure that I can. Dive center right there. This is pretty unreal. This is truly ultimate. As long as you're not in the mood for a jungle hike or a much else other than food, sand, swim, food, drink, swim. Watch out for falling coconuts, okay. Don't shake the trees. Okay, looks like this is the uh, lunch. All right, okay, blue colored wristbands. Right. Uh, hang on, we wait for the start of Rabin. Bula. Uh, those of you with blue wristbands, come over, everyone, please. We will need to do your orientation. Activities. Combo cruise. Semi submarine trip. Reef snorkeling. One more time. Everyone say Bula! Bula! That's better. Alright, Bula, and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, uh, boys and girls. Uh, we uh, welcome you all with open arms here at South Yellen. Uh, we uh, hope that you enjoyed the short passage across from home port and then around. As I want to recommend uh, with the afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the facilities. We'll start from uh, the complimentary bar, which is located <laughs> right there. And uh, included in the packets are from the bar, we've got some drinks that have been allocated for you. There are some things like Coke, Fanta, lemonade, and no sugar Coke. Water is also included, which is water for an island as well as South Sea Island, as well as uh, Fiji, uh, Bila, Fiji Gold, Red and White Wines, Shiraz and Sam. Those are the drinks that are included in the complimentary box of drinks. But if you like to drink outside of that box, I bet you can see since you can drink outside of the box, you can also drink outside the box. <laughs> and if that is the case, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we also do have uh, cocktails and mocktails, ice creams and snacks, such of local spirits, as well as uh, bounty and cola and uh, tribe, which are also available at the complimentary bar. But unfortunately, they are not included in the package, which of course you have to pay. Oh yeah, a good looking buffet lunch. Maybe I'll get my drink first. Starting off with a virgin pina colada here. Uh, at Duras Sam Reasons, where all the children and everyone will be watching. Vast teaching the younger generation about the traditional dance. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we can ask each and every one of you to please put our hands together in welcoming the Homo Vandra Entertainment Group. Come on, let's everyone. Led by Mary, I mean, led by Sarah. Bula! Bula!
Video? Yep. Carry face. Ready. Come back. Ready. Two, three. Ah! Bula. This is South Sian. Bula, Bula. Next. You can just keep it rolling. Okay. No worries. Hola. America. United States. Northern California. Welcome home, away from home. Menaka. Hola. Hola. Yeah. You're going to take three photos. Yeah, okay. Okay. Do whatever you want to do. The first two photos, we're going to say Bula. Okay. Who can smile in the face? Hello, hello, hello. The third one. Bula. You're in South Seattle yeah, at the moment. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Two Smallest Bula. island. Can I do anything with the yeah. chocolate what pistido? Do no, if you want to go to visit no, 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 like Fiji, a make sure you yeah. visit South Seattle yeah. also. We have a hot chocolate here. We have <laughs> our little <laughs> local spider. <laughs> and Idris Elba. Dubula, that one turn up. Good? Alrighty. After the food. After the food. John Cena. Picture. Oh! This is my Fiji Bula. Ready? Two, three, Bula! Another one, two, three, Bula, Bula! Tongue's out, ready, scary face. Ah. Ah. Ready, two, three. Ah. Ah. Why? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Just get to the camera. Bula, welcome to South Sea Island. So, this is turning out to be an amazing day tour. It is touristy, of course, but uh, you're getting a good little taste, at least, of the uh, Fijian culture and the incredible, incredible natural beauty of the perfect white sands and clear blue waters. So, this sure is a different side of things from uh, where I'm staying at Smuggler's Cove, a rather unremarkable beach in kind of muddyish water. So you got to get out to the uh, smaller islands. Maybe there's some other places on VT Levu, the main uh, island where the uh, waters are nicer. But uh, anyways, you're getting a much better look at what there is to see in Fiji. And man, does it meet the height. Nothing is out of place here. It's just perfect. 
as you expect it. All right, time to get in this water. Just wanted to say that uh, the tour is 200 Fijian dollars. That is $90 US. So uh, I booked this uh, kind of last minute. So I was actually supposed to go yesterday. I tried to book this the day before that to go yesterday, but uh, it was full up. And so I booked today, my last day before I fly out tonight to Honolulu. And so uh, they didn't explain everything that was included when I uh, paid for the uh, tour. So as I was taking the boat out here, I was thinking, okay, so I just paid 90 bucks for a short boat ride. I was thinking like that was it. And they were just gonna drop you off and then you go to a restaurant and get your food and stuff. But uh, no, there's a lot included. There's the snorkeling. I think that is included as well. And the food there included the uh, performance. I did pay the warrior guys there for the photo or video in this case with the uh, war clubs there. So pretty ultimate experience and definitely a fair deal for 90 bucks. Very shallow here. I have my sandals on since it isn't just sand down there. There's lots of rocks and whatever. So I'm filming with my GoPro now, before it was the DJI. So for those who happen to see my video from Australia in which I went on a boat tour as well to a little island and then tried to uh, go out and film with my GoPro because I don't take my DJI underwater, then I discovered that the battery had died even though it had been at 87% when I had been sitting on the boat going to the island. And so it mysteriously had drained down. Here's what happened. So when I got back to my hotel room and charged it back up and then checked the files, there were like seven or eight long files, all completely dark. So what happened is that the button got pressed that turned it on and started it filming and then it filmed for like 45 minutes or something until the battery died and then it stopped and it saved the files. So that has happened before actually with the GoPro. It's a bit of an issue with it. It has never happened with my DJI. So just another glitch with the GoPro. But anyways, at least it's working now. Just gonna give a little taste of the water here. I don't have, you know, snorkel uh, goggles or I would love to have just my uh, swim goggles would work. So I won't be able to see what's under there, but at least you will. And from what I can see here, man, it is just crystal, crystal clear. Couldn't see anything, but the water feels amazing, and I can tell it's got to be uh, just gorgeous down there. Not seeing any fish so far, but uh, we should see some out where we go snorkeling. So many tropical island paradises. When you get there, it's just not quite what you had expected or hoped for. What you had seen in the pictures, postcards, posters, whatever. But here in Fiji, so far, it is just what you expect. It absolutely meets, and I would say exceeds the hype. I would really, really love to be able to uh, explore further, come here for a couple of weeks at least, and. Uh, island hop, go see the different uh, islands, different, uh, you know, people on the more local islands, etc. So uh, hopefully I will be lucky enough to be back.
guilty ke cheho ye Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful looking fish down there. They said that they're gonna chum the water, so, you know, for better or worse, it does bring in the fish.
Vinaka. <laughs> <laughs>